So it seems the whole world, and by that I mean the United States of America, because I'm an American, is on fire. So uh, we're seeing this whole thing where I first w- was, I-, I first discovered this whole thing um, on, uh, on, uh, on Twitter in regards to Boulder, Colorado. Um, and so here we have Boulder, Colorado uh, fire that has apparently destroyed 500 buildings. Now, I want to remind everyone. Uh, you might not know this, actually, but in fact, let me, get, because I'm a visual learner, uh, and I think it's possible that everyone else is a visual learner, um, so it's actually December, you might not know this, so look at this, hold up, you might not know this, it's actually December, uh, that's in the winter time. the current season is winter, uh, and, uh, so apparently Colorado in the winter time is on fire so uh, i'm just throwing that out there uh we have all these different um videos and uh photos of the fires going on now folks i went on a little bit of a tear last night uh i stayed up late panicking about the end of the world because that's what i do um i personally just want to share with y'all uh my opinion on this whole thing I think the world is ending. Um, I think that as- assuming the government doesn't do anything. Now, now again, I think that we can possibly save the world, right? But is anyone going to like do a general strike until the government does something? No. Is anyone going to do a rent strike? No. Is anyone going to protest? No. Let's be honest. No. No one's going to do that because we're all fucking lazy, sick, and stupid. We're all fucking morons. Is the government going to do anything to protect us from climate change and disaster? No. Is the government going to do anything to protect us from this pandemic? I'll get more into that later. No. Is the government going to protect us from societal and economic collapse? No. But uh, look at this photo. That's a good one. Christmas tree, folks. It's fucking December. It's fucking December, folks. It's goddamn December. So I've got this article here. Uh, A vicious wildfire that began Thursday morning in Boulder, Colorado, or Boulder County, Colorado, swallowed about 1,600 acres in a matter of hours, burning hundreds of homes and prompting uh, orders for some 30,000 people in two communities to evacuate. Amid historically powerful winds, some 370 homes were destroyed in a single subdivision just west of the town of Superior, while another 210 homes may have been lost in Old Town Superior. The sheriff said Thursday, no deaths or missing people were reported immediately. As quickly as the winds began, they were due to subside overnight with heavy snowfall on Friday. Think about this. An entire fucking, like, neighborhood... 600 homes, burns to the ground, and now it's going to snow. What? 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 (laughs) Okay. Like, I just, like, 15,000 customers had no power in Colorado. Most of them in Boulder County. At least six people were treated for injuries. Folks, I don't even know what to tell you. Like, here's some more footage. I don't even know, like... Fall is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fall is here. I don't... I don't know about that. Uh, but anyway, that's just generic B, uh, B-roll. Anyway, folks, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't know how any of this is happening. I don't know why our leaders are doing nothing. I don't know why no one is doing anything. Like, people aren't going to rise up and protest, demand change. They're not going to do a general strike. They're not going to do a wrench strike. They're not going to do anything because Americans are fucking stupid lazy scumbag morons and i know that people don't want to hear that i know people want to live in their bubbles where they're radical communists and but guess what folks i'm a radical communist too but no one else in this fucking country is americans are fucking dumb loser scumbag morons and they're afraid to even ask for anything at all from their government 
Look at this fucking country, folks. Look at this fucking country. No one gives a fuck. No one wants anything better. We're all fighting each other over, oh, the vaccines cause autism and 5G. Like, we have literally 40% of the country that doesn't believe in fucking vaccines. They think that they're going to kill them. 40% of the country. 40% of the country is so goddamn stupid, they won't take a fucking vaccine in a goddamn pandemic. Right? Like, can you imagine what fucking needs to happen for there to be change in this country? Can you, like, even envision the, like, amount of, of effort that needs to be undergone in this country for change to happen? And we have 40% of these stupid, slimeball, scumbag morons jumping in the way to defend capital, to defend the leaders of this country, to defend the rich, the billionaires, and the owners. They will sacrifice their lives. They will kill their friends and family and extended family and their co-workers so that Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and all these other scumbags can make a couple extra bucks. Meanwhile, the, f I, I, like, I, like, Look, I mean, like, there is a movie that came out on Netflix that all of mainstream media said, oh, this is so silly. This is, this isn't funny. This is offensive. This movie, I'm kind of talking about Don't Look Up. Meanwhile, Colorado is on fire, 600 buildings destroyed, and now it's snowing. Americans are fucking stupid and i know people don't want to hear that people want to hear me blame the government oh yeah the government's bad yeah no fucking shit the government's bad the government of this country has never been good there has never ever 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 been a small sliver of a moment where this government of this country has done anything good at all but people love to say, oh, the New Deal, the New Deal. Yeah, the same fucking guy that did the New Deal, right, by the way, which mostly went to white people and white families, but let's not talk about that right now, of course. The same president, FDR, literally set up concentration camps. So I'm sick of you New Deal sicko motherfuckers. There was never a period of American greatness. The 1950s wasn't great. The 60s sucked. The 70s sucked. The 80s sucked. Every single moment we've all been alive in this country has sucked. It will always suck. And why does it suck? Because Americans are fucking little fucking pussy scumbag losers and they're masochists and they like getting the shit beat out of them and they will take it because they don't care about anything better. They don't want anything better and they're fucking too stupid to realize it. So I am sick of America, I am sick of Americans, and I'm leaving all of that bullshit in 2021. 2022, I'm done, folks. I am done. I am a doomer. I'm just saying I am full stop a doomer. Now, does that mean I'm going to give up? No. Why would I give up? Because if I give up, then I can't feel morally superior to the rest of these stupid motherfuckers, right? But I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to do what I can within my power to change this world, but I guarantee you it's not going to be enough because no one else is going to do what's need what needs to be done. No one else gives a fuck. If a couple of us do stuff, that's great, and we should because maybe, just maybe, right, if enough of us actually try, maybe the rest of these fucking morons will wake the fuck up and realize something is wrong. So that's why it's worth trying. Because let's be honest, what else is there to do? What else could I do? Do drugs all day? I mean, I do that anyway, so I can just integrate that into my regular lifestyle. So, but again, I am sick of these stupid ass motherfuckers. And I'm going to get more into the pandemic stuff later uh, in the show and probably right after this segment. But again, folks, like... A climate movie, Don't Look Up, came out, and all of mainstream media panned it. Oh, this movie, this is so dumb. This is so stupid and offensive. Have you seen a single article in mainstream media that didn't just take that movie and try to shit all over it? And now Colorado's on fire and it's snowing? How is that even fucking possible? How the fuck is that even goddamn fucking possible? You're on your own, folks. Americans 
don't care about you. Your neighbor doesn't give a fuck about you. Your family doesn't give a fuck about you. Your parents don't give a fuck about you. Your siblings don't give a fuck about you. All we're doing is dying together while like all we're doing is holding hands and we're all going to burn to death because no one is fucking strong enough or powerful enough to do anything until we all get together and no one is going to get together. We have 40% of the country that doesn't believe in vaccines. 95% of the country doesn't know how to eat vegetables. We have half the country that like spends their time and energy hating transgender people online all day when it comes to sports. We have half of this country that fucking thinks that we should invade the rest of the fucking world because that's going to solve our problems, right? We have half of this country that's just fucking brain dead, more than half, probably 60, 70% of this country that believes in stuff like the deficit and the debt. The world is on fire and we have motherfuckers talking about the debt and the deficit and they really believe that shit. They really fucking believe that shit. Like, what do we do? What do we do? I don't know, man. We have half of this country, minimum, that's brain dead. Like, I'm talking about, like, like you know, the season finale of Dexter, right? You know, not the new one. I love the new Dexter, by the way. I'm super into it. But, you know, season eight of Dexter, where Deborah's on the fuck, I'm spoiling the fuck out of this, where she's brain dead. That's half of America. I've been watching Dexter recently. And... Half of this country are fucking loser morons that have no fucking neurons in their brain. They're all a bunch of morons. And I, I personally suggest that we throw them all in the fucking river. And then maybe, just maybe, the average IQ of this country will go up. Just maybe. Because we have so many stupid fuck motherfuckers, man. So many stupid fuck motherfuckers. And I'm sick. I'm sick of it. Every time I go outside, I live in North Carolina, folks. Every time I go outside, I see dumbass motherfuckers go to the grocery store. Again, I've told this story. Last time I went to the grocery store was probably two weeks ago. But literally, no one in the grocery store at all, probably 30, 40, maybe 50 people in the grocery store at the time had masks on. I was the only one. You might be thinking, what about the employees? Oh, yeah, they had masks on. Their fucking chin. They're chin maskers. People wonder what the fuck's going on in this country. Yeah, the government sucks. No shit, the government sucks. But so do you. Because you let the government walk all over you and you fucking do nothing. You fucking do nothing. You're a loser. We're all losers. We're all scumbags. You're not better than anyone else. We're all in the same fucking boat and we're all sinking. And guess what? We could flip the boat back over. We could be safe. But we choose not to because the collective IQ of this population is too dumb to fucking live.